Words You Should Avoid, Chapter 8, Big and Small. What is the problem with words like big and small? Well, sizing adjectives or size adjectives, such as big, small, tall, can be problematic for two reasons. First, they are subjective and therefore ambiguous. Second, they often seem informal in a lot of contexts. Example, the shadow monster is big. How big is big in this context? Well, if you use subjective words, there's going to be ambiguity and the reader will not know how large the object that you're describing is. So how do we resolve this issue? Simply use more specific measures. Example, instead of saying the shadow monster is big, the shadow monster is 150 meters tall. Now your reader will have a very precise and clear idea of how large the object you're talking about is. With respect to the words sounding informal, you might have a sentence like, I have tremendously huge fingers. Now this word huge sounds really informal and again, it's ambiguous. So what do we do to make it more concrete and more academic? We use a measure. My fingers are 12 millimeters long. Now the reader has a very clear sense of exactly how long the fingers are. Quick summary, size adjectives, such as big, small, tall, short, huge, are problematic for two key reasons. First, they are subjective and therefore ambiguous. Second, they often seem informal. To avoid these issues, simply use specific measures and the reader will have a clear, concrete understanding of exactly what you are talking about. I hope that was clear and helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below and we'll be sure to get back to them as soon as possible. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other.